Welcome to this new replay commentary. We are covering another round, or I should say another match in the first round of the Kanbai Cup. And today we will have a guest that came many time around. You can now present yourself. Hey folks, it's me, semi-original guy, aka Mr. Cannon from Advance Wars by Web. And uh, yeah, happy to be here and, uh, you know, representing Acid Rain. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. That's nice. So just like all the other match, let's take a look at your profile in your open end profile. Boom. Boom. Let's start off with your open end. Uh, what do you think about this uh, five most used seals? That's a good question. You know what? Um, well, Sonia, very cool pick, very fun. You could tell Severa probably, actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure Severa said that he doesn't play much Fog of War, so I wonder why he does pick Sonia all the time. Maybe he just likes a challenge. To show I don't know. his muscle, to show all good Exactly. <laughs> probably, it's probably just a flex. He probably chooses Sonia against, like, you know, Von Bolt and Hawk. And it's just like, my brain is just so superior. <laughs> That's my guess. I don't know. Sonya is a pretty fun pick, though. I mean, she's a little, little weak in some aspects, but uh, I think she's kind of underrated at the same time. I mean, counter break can be like super good even in standard. So, it depends on how you play, it, right? Man, Sammy, I, respectable I, I, second pick. I stay away from Sonja, so I just don't get it. But hey, I respect the guy because nobody plays her. <laughs> that is true. Like nobody does play. Uh, Poor Sonia, and that's that's sad. So it's it's good that somebody is giving her some love. So <laughs> I got no problems with that. Um, yeah, and uh, Sammy, you know, another underrated CEO that I think is like pretty good, uh, but you know, situationally good, right? So I used to play like a lot of Sonia back in the day, <laughs> or not Sonia, a lot of Sammy back in the day. Yeah. So I can definitely respect that pick. That's pretty cool. Uh, Kindle, well, everybody plays Kindle in, like, you know, tier, what is it, tier 3? Uh, so, nothing really new about that. Von Bolt, pretty strong pick in tier 1. And, uh, Lash, just, uh, super fun stuff. So, it looks like Severa just really likes to challenge himself with his picks. Yeah, I like that, because there's no global damage in that top 5, except maybe Kindle. But even there, she's not as broken as Olaf, Ark, or, uh... Or uh, Drake? No, absolutely not. But he, I mean, you can see by like all of his picks too. Like he's pretty spread out, so he he tries to uh, change it up every now and then. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So now let's go over to your profile, Mr. Cannon. Oh, hey, my rating went up a little bit. Cool. <laughs> that means you won. <laughs> you won. Yeah, I don't know what I won. I don't know what I won, but I won something, so that's cool. <laughs> so that's okay. Uh, if you're wondering why I have 295 games played as Andy, it's because I actually made my account back in 2005 or 2006. So it's been around for a very long time. And back in the day, we didn't have tier lists, so I just picked Andy for like every single match. And uh, yeah, it was super fun. Wow. I still play Andy quite a bit, though. You're old school, man. Now I understand more why you are so good. <laughs> I wouldn't say that I'm good. I'm just good in hindsight. So <laughs> maybe that's that's what it is. Now, I understand, like, you know, the vast majority of everything about this game. But I just don't listen to my own advice most of the time. So <laughs> that's probably where, where it goes wrong. Uh, <laughs> but Hawk, he's, he's my, like, favorite pick for Tier 1. I mean, I like the global damage, I like the uh, the healing. He's like Andy, but like a little bit different, so also super fun pick for me. Then Olaf is just like, you know, your standard pick for tier 2. Uh, you know, global damage and blizzard can be super fun. A uh, little bit stalling, a little bit boring, so I have actually been trying to play a lot more eagle lately in uh, tier 2. Yeah. And it's been, it's been going pretty fun. And then Jess and Jake are just, uh, you know, my two picks for tier four, pretty much. 
I usually pick Jess over anybody, but uh, Jess is cool. yeah, I don't know. I like Jess. Yeah, she can be fun. I play a lot of high funds though too, and uh, I find Jess does pretty okay in like tier four high funds. So yeah, that's pretty much it with those two. Uh, but I have been playing a lot more Adder lately too. So and I've only had two games as Nell though. So because because uh, <laughs> luck is bad. <laughs> okay, now. Why Cole? Because I figured nobody else was gonna pick Cole, <laughs> so I just I just wanted to I just wanted to play Cole because I figured nobody else was gonna play him, so I was gonna be like, you know, I'm just gonna be Cole. I like Why your not? flex because there's actually lots of roads, but Jake is just better. But I mean, there's lots of roads, so Cole is not that bad. I mean, man, that's big brain. I like it, and that's funny because. Well, when I, I picked that map, and I was like, if we have a odd number and I, I take part of it, I will pick Cole on that round. But, <laughs> yeah. Well, I beat, you, I beat you to it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. We, I we thought maybe, like... number, which is great. Um, see, I thought maybe Cole might have had a little bit of an advantage when it comes to, like, taking these two cities, because you would have to attack from a road, right? Yeah. I mean, possibly. So, I mean, I figured that would be okay, but uh, we'll see what happens, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think Adder, Adder overall is just way better than Cole, though. Yeah. Uh, I... Just two-star power. That's just funny. Can't because... beat it. That's funny because um, now it's the third match I cover, and I think Adder was in every single one. <laughs> it was always Jake versus Adder, I think. I think. Maybe I'm wrong, and I, I forget, but... I think all match were like Adder versus Jake, so. <laughs> well, I'm glad to at least like somewhat change it up. <laughs> yeah, you did your part. <laughs> I did my part. Now we'll we'll see what uh, what happens with it, I guess. But if I'm gonna be completely honest, this is probably my least, well, at least one of my like top three least favorite standard maps. <laughs> Unfortunately. But, uh, Why? Because uh, it favors like really aggressive play, and I'm just not really a really aggressive player, so I usually get punished really hard on this map <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> so yeah, it's just I haven't I haven't quite cracked the code of this map yet. So it's just it's not my favorite. But in terms of like you know just a a map by design and everything, it's it's a pretty cool map. I I don't really have any problems with it. Yeah. Except for the fact I, I don't do well on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, we go at your pacing, except if you would like to add something else to the intro. Um, no, I think we're good. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just go at it. So, I mean, like, you know, instantly, just standard infantry builds nothing really out of the ordinary stop Excuse me. lying um, i've never seen the infantry build like that i know right it's crazy it's like who builds two infantry on day one it's like what madness so i had this thought right when i was looking at this map and i wanted to try something that i never tried before too right and uh i, I don't think it actually worked out very well but i'll show you what it is here so i don't even cap any of these two cities and I'm, I'm just immediately going for this city right here. Because I found that a lot of the time when I stop and cap these cities and I get up here, then somebody always comes and interrupts me here. So I just figured I would try to go get it right away. And then just, you know, then it would be mine. So that was my plan. <laughs> and I'd like to add this coming from Cynical Boy in the chat. I expect Mech Day 2 or Riot. Grrr, best comment ever. Where's the Meg oh, Day yeah. 2? Where's the Meg Day 2, for real? <laughs> well, it's it's all about Recon Day 2. That's that's what you gotta do. <laughs> Just base skip Day 1, then get your Recon on Day 2, and then, you know, equals profit. <laughs> we speak about the big plays here. Right? Okay, so... Uh, yeah, so Severa's doing... You know, the standard opening, going for this property here, capping the, the base over here, capping this property. So, 
you know, all good stuff there. Then I'm going to go for that city. Then I'm capping another property, going for my base. And then, uh, yeah, just building more infantry. Who would have thought, right? Man, that's genius. I never thought about that. What, building infantry? <laughs> yeah, I thought they were fodder, you know? They only cost one key. They are pointless. They don't... You only build inf you only build infantry on day one, and then you just build recons from that point, and then you just... Yeah. you can win. It's That's beautiful. the way it all should be. <laughs> that is literally all you need. 700 elo for the win, bro. <laughs> Oh yeah, well that's like some 600 elo if we can go down that far. <laughs> but I, I don't mean, think you never they know. exist. The lowest I've seen was 700, but they should carry oh, yeah, 600. The, the elo. Because some 700 yeah. are like, man, did you ever play this game before? <laughs> they should lower the, the the level to 600 <laughs> because some of the 700 are are a shame for the 700s. Oh, double recon. Okay, that's kind of shocking. I don't get it. Uh, try to defend that because you're better than me and you play more standard. So, why two recon? Why? See, I didn't. I didn't understand it either. But we're we're gonna see what these two recons do because it's actually like ridiculous, and I it totally caught me off guard. So, <laughs> yeah, the only thing I can really okay. So I saw this right, and I was just thinking like, okay, well, why do we have two recons? So, the only thing you could really do with the recons is just pretty much harass infantry in the front and stop your opponent from getting, like, any of these caps. Or just force your opponent to move their tanks in a different position. Yeah. So, it's all that I could think of for that. But I saw those two recons and I was just like, well, I've never seen this before. So, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so... Um, I'm not going to go for this because, well, now there's a recon there and an infantry, so I'm just going to go over and try to cap that. And, uh, yeah. So, you're telling me Silver, I told you he was not really a fog player? So, that's interesting because I know you do everything, but I know you play more fog. So, that's interesting. Maybe that's the winning factor here. Maybe he has more experience than you in standard. That is, like, definitely possible. I mean, I do play standard and play all modes, but I, I do play more fog than anything, especially as of late. So, yeah, quite possibly. And it was kind of cool that Silvera, like, moved, uh, like, right here with his infantry, so it was kind of in position to either cap any of these properties, so... Kind of forced me to move in a position where I would be able to cover both of them, but, I mean, he just goes for this one, right, so... Which is, you, you know, the smart move. Okay, so where does this other recon go? So this other recon, like, shoots all the way down here. And I'm like, huh. Because it's right out of range of this tank, too. Unfortunately. So, you know, I was, I was kind of questioning that. I was like, huh. Okay, so what do I do with this tank, right? And, yeah, we'll see. So, why do you think he only built infantry is there? Gonna have to go back. Uh, cause he's only got 7,000, right? Oh, I see. So a third recon would be a bad idea. <laughs> I understand now. Yeah, maybe not go- I mean, you already have two recons, so I mean, your recon quota is filled. For now. At least until mid-game. <laughs> Even in fog, this map is quite small, so tree would be overkill. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so I moved my tank here, and then this is actually a really, really bad move. Like, insanely bad move. And mainly, I'll tell you why. Because uh, moving this tank here leaves the back line open. So if anything, the smart move would have been to move the tank onto like the HQ, so that it could protect all the infantry. I see. Uh, but, but I wasn't really thinking too much, right? So <laughs> that's I just the moved it up there. Inside of you, usually people don't have intel. <laughs> oh yeah, normally, normally, right? I'm like, oh my god, you can like see the map? What? <laughs> Where's my fog? Where's the black? This game is racist. There's no black. 
Oh, yeah. So I decided to build a recon, too, just because, like, well, I mean, he's got recon, so I was like, whatever. So, what was going on before we crashed twice in a row? I think I was gonna be talking about how I am very susceptible to suiciding my recons into unwinnable situations. I think that's what the uh, topic of conversation was gonna be. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Let's speak about that. So we'll that. see what happens with that. Yeah. Let's see what happens with that. Do you have remote? You don't, right? You don't. Uh, nope. Let's Unfortunately, no. Remote. Okay, cool. There we go. And... My computer is burning, man. I will crash oh, boy. a third time. <laughs> okay, well, I'll try to go. I'll try to go really fast, but slow enough that you know I can at least say how stupid I am sometimes. So that'll be perfect. <laughs> All right, so I go up and take this shot uh, to interrupt that cap, and I was kind of thinking like, okay, so he could come up and attack me, but I could counterattack with this, and like hopefully that'll scare him away, but. Uh, We'll see what happens with that. And my other plan here was I moved this tank here. I should have moved it onto the uh, the HQ so that it could like protect everything. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't. I moved it up here to try to scare the recon away. Like I thought, if this recon saw a tank right here, he would be like, "Oh my god, I better like run all the way over here or something and like hide." Um, but still, very he's got uh, he's got other plans. He's got other plans. He's got some big brain plans here. All right. So, so that infantry takes out my man, infantry. Did you just send it to die? That's so sad. Well, I sent it to, yeah, I sent it to interrupt the cap, and then yeah, it died. So I mean, that was unfortunate. So, and then this freaking little guy <laughs> right here just goes right down. And just takes a shot at my like infantry in the back. And when that happened, <laughs> I logged on and I checked this range, and I was like, "No, oh, shoot, I'm out of range. I'm like just out of range." <laughs> so yeah, this was like super sad moments for me. So this like began the uh, the snowball of tilt throughout the entire rest of the game <laughs> with this one move right here. And I was just like, "Oh my god." So I just, I don't know, I started getting like, you know, just started seeing red at this point. So he basically, like, oh man, that's a war crime, but he's better than me. So what's up with that? Do you agree with that base skip? This one, I would say yes. So mostly, uh, so he's got all these properties like cap back here. So he doesn't need infantry back here. Uh, he's got enough in the front that he's going to be able to get these properties, like, uncontested. And he knows that now I'm going to be forced to either let my infantry in the back lines get killed or send my vehicles in the back line, which will allow him to push up with both of these tanks and just, like, reinforce this side. Um, so, yeah, I would say that's probably uh, a justified base skip. With his money, and don't it's... you think it could be a better idea to tank artillery infantry? What about that? It could potentially be an okay uh, build. 
but I think he's really just planning on going heavy on direct combat right now to make sure that he wins this area and this area. Because uh, by fortifying both sides, it means that I have to build tanks on either side. So I don't know. He could have possibly went, uh, you know, with the indirects, but I think the two tanks is pretty, it's a pretty solid play. Uh, plus, when it comes to, like, the movement power, the tanks are going to get the bonus, whereas the indirects aren't. Because the tank would get the plus one movement and be able to hit something, and then the indirect would just be sitting in one spot. So you wouldn't really get the uh, the movement bonus from that, right? So yeah, I mean, obviously you can move it somewhere a little bit faster, but you're not going to get that combat advantage, I suppose. So yeah, so I guess he's just going with direct combat. That's funny because um, in one of my most recent replays I did. I was doing Stern vs. Javier, and I steamrolled the guy because he kept base skipping. That was really hard to kill him, but at some point his army did collapse because he could not maintain anything. Well, if you base skip without purpose, then it's just no good. But if you have, like, a plan, then it's okay. Uh, but... Uh, Mostly, I would say, just don't base skip. It's usually not great. I mean, the, you know, that thing. These crash gave me cancer. I'll give you remote control. Is it working? Hey, now? look, we're back. Yeah, for I a third time. <laughs> <laughs> back for a third time. Nice. That's not too bad. Uh-oh. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, do you hear me? Oh, I hear you. I'm just... I'm, I have to sneeze, so I'm just going to mute myself. <laughs> the true question. Is this one the good one? My, okay, these, I think it's over. These crash, bro. They gave me cancer. Bless you about Hopefully. that. Hopefully. Oh, thank you very much. I mean, I would do it directly into my mic, but I feel like nobody wants to go deaf today, so. <laughs> I agree. I don't want to go deaf. Yeah, that's probably fair. Okay, so. Where were we? We got the best capture ever made. 4 HP infantry in front of Recon. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You know, we're five days from victory, folks, right there. That's uh, that's how we do it. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, I think the last thing I was talking about is how tilted this Recon made me. <laughs> and uh, actually, you know what? I can feel my blood pressure going up a little bit just thinking about this Recon again. Like, I'm going to have PTSD every single time I see a Jade Recon from now. I'm just going to be like, oh my god. I'm going to see, like, little... killed my people. It's going to have, like, a little adder head on it. And, like, Silver is going to be driving it, just looking menacing, laughing, like the Joker. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's just it's not going to make me feel very good. <laughs> but that's funny, because it... they both wear makeup. Oh my god, yeah, exactly. I mean, Adder is I've never realized like, before, but I've known Cole for a while now. I've known Cole for like 15 years, 16 years. 17 years, actually, since Dual Strike. Man, I just realized he's wearing the same makeup as the other one. Man. Yeah, I, I mean, if like Adder and Cole, uh, like, you know, fused together, it would probably make the Joker. Yeah. Uh, without a doubt. <laughs> So anyways, okay, so let's keep going here. Uh, yeah, so Silvera's turn. So I built these two, this tank here, and put this tank where it should have been at the beginning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so now this recon only has like one place to go. Now the sad thing is it's going to be able to at least hit one more infantry before um, I can do anything about it. So that is unfortunate. And the other recon hits another one of my infantry, which is, once again, super sad. And now my capture game has been, like, severely damaged, because <laughs> yeah. I'm only at, like, 13. 
And you skip uh, one of like... your building as well to get the uh, extended building. Oh yeah. So I did manage to get those buildings, but uh, that did put me a little bit behind. But when it comes to like the overall like early funds, I wasn't really behind building like tanks or anything. Uh, but this recon just came and just did so much damage to me, and it was just it was terrible. Uh, now, if I did put the tank on the HQ to begin with, the recon wouldn't have been able to do that. So, if I had done that, this game could have went a lot differently. Uh, but sadly, because I did that, now I'm in the uh, state to brain. So, <laughs> I live with uh, live with your decisions. With 13k, in your situation, don't you think artery could? maybe help you out because you're already behind everywhere and you need something that can damage stuff okay uh other question do they overlap no they don't overlap why did you left your tank on that building i know oh, it's a building <laughs> but i mean he's not overlapped so can still take oh, yeah. the dan out of it oh he definitely could but like i said at this point i was kind of just tilted <laughs> so I, I just went and sent it. I was just like, you know what? Whatever. I don't care. As soon as I lost those two caps, I was kind of just thinking to myself, like, well, I'm probably going to lose. So I might as well just go and uh, send my units to full send city, basically. So, yeah, that was that was the plan. The other thing is, was like, um, if he did make this attack, like the engagement wasn't going to be like super good for him. And at least I would stop him from capping the city right away. Uh, but in general, yeah, no, it's not necessarily a good idea to do that. So, like I said, that recon pretty much just tilted me to, like, all hell. And, uh, yeah, I just kind of just sort of gave up. <laughs> oh, I was damn right. That was a painful one. Oh, for sure. <laughs> all right, that so, recall, you know. Bro, that recon. <laughs> Chad yeah, the recon. recon just. Oh, this is like the ultimate chatter recon. It's uh, it's still there, and it's doing so much damage that I'm just not even gonna attack it anymore. All right, so I'm gonna bring this guy back because I'm planning on hitting this guy with it, or maybe hitting this guy with it. I'm not quite sure yet, but just moving it out of the way. It's getting it back. I was going to move this guy on the HQ, but I mean, I felt like this guy might want to... No, I don't think he can hit it, but I felt like this guy might come in and hit it. Now, I've got a question. Why do you think he left that wreck on there? Because now he can get trapped. And you don't want to get trapped. Well, the recon's already done its job. So, I mean, at this point, the recon is distracting the tank from getting over here and defending these guys. Yeah. So it's either I use the tank to attack the recon, or I move the tank over here to defend against this tank and then leave my infantry even more exposed to being hit. Yeah. So, I mean, really, there's not much more for that recon to do. It's already... It's done its job, essentially. It's denied this cap, and then the other one denied this cap, and... Yeah. <laughs> it's basically served its purpose. So I attempted to get a luck roll there, and it didn't really work out too well. Uh, and then he went to attack my guy, and uh, ended up doing more luck damage that time with the 8 HP on the counterattack. So, hey, there you go. <laughs> Wasn't too bad. Okay, so let's see. I'm pretty sure something bad happens here. losing one infantry yeah that was pretty bad all right so now he's going copters and indirects because he's already won the direct combat war over here so now he pretty much just has to hold the line until reinforcements get there and if i let him build up stuff then i mean i pretty much lose but at this point i pretty much lost anyways so yeah good stuff so i just start eating my units into the front line doing a bunch of damage and uh yeah just hoping for the best why did you send that wreck on there? It will get slaughtered. <laughs> Bruh, well, that game is not a game right now. 
Oh yeah, no. Well, like I said, I already lost, right? But I mean, I'm mostly I'm just trying to do a bunch of damage because I know that I have more guys here than him too. So if he has to move one of his tanks back here to attack the recon, then that'll leave his front just a little bit weaker. So I might be able to push up with a couple of these units here at that point, but I don't know. We'll see. And then this recon still being super annoying, blocking the city. <laughs> Sad recon being painful. And yeah, now, just denying more and more caps. The juicy artery is there, and now you're pissed. But you can still hit it, but he has so many tanks. Ooh! Power, 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 power. Uh, I don't think I actually use the power. Because if you uh, have power, there's not... I think you can uh, break the wall. The 5 HP mm. infantry. Probably could, but even if I went and attacked that, I would just lose the rest of the tanks that I have. So, I don't know. It's I don't really think it's too, too good of an idea to use the power yet. And I can't really, like, break this line either, and I have to figure out something to do with the Battlecopter, and then if, like, I use the power, then he's just going to use his power, and then I'm just going to get hit by all these tanks, so... It's, uh, it's a tough situation. Now, you know what's funny? I, uh, decided to lift my computer and hold it in my ends, but now my arms are burning because of it. <laughs> we'll get some ice on those. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> I was, okay, if I wasn't tilted enough, too, <laughs> like, I, <laughs> I'm, like, oh, uh, okay, just, Bruh, no, no, <laughs> oh, I seppuku. was just, like, really, <laughs> seppuku, no more, <laughs> oh, yeah, just when you think you couldn't get any more tilted, <laughs> then something like that happens, and then you're just, like, oh, my God, <laughs> Yeah, so that was that was unfortunate. Um, so I did do a little bit of damage to this guy. I brought a couple more tanks into the area. I mean, this guy's probably going to get down. Uh, but I got the Battlecopter up here too, so I was hoping this guy's going to be able to apply some pressure here. Uh, but Silvera, he just does not, uh, does not stop attacking, pretty much. He does pull back a little bit at some points, but he goes like really, really aggressive. Which in all reality is what you really want to do in this situation because if you get a little bit of an advantage over your opponent uh, you really just want to safely be as aggressive as you can which is pretty much what he does especially with this indirect too because I can't attack this line without losing like pretty much any of my tanks so uh, that's definitely a good indirect and now his battlecopters are like block or Garden each other too, which is unfortunate for me. Now, I did notice that if I do get my super co power, I could actually hit this guy with this one. So I think that's what I attempt to do next turn. But I can't remember how I go about it. I think I go about it like not super great. But we'll see. Okay, let's see. If you use your power, you could smash that copter with the anti-air. I wouldn't be able to do it with my power, though. I'd have to use my super. Really? I miscalculated the top? You should be able to... Because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You're right. But that's weird, because... Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4... But, oh, you're right. I miscalculated. I'm bad at nuts. Oh yeah, no, don't worry. I like I counted that a bunch of times too, and I was like, well, can I do it? I think I can, right? So I get the super. So I do activate it because I did see that move, right? So I go in, zip up there, take the shot. Payback so I was like, time. <laughs> I know. I was like feeling okay. I was like, yes, I killed one thing. Things are feeling pretty good. <laughs> Alrighty, so I also stop cap. So in reality, I probably should have just like 
I should have just let him have this cap and actually attack the tanks instead. Yeah. Because I could have attacked this thinking. tank. Yeah, because I, I could have definitely hit this tank and I could have hit this one with this guy. Um, and then this guy... I could have actually zoomed up and took a shot too. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, not the best move. Now, I'm trying to get this tank over here to help with this now, because if I just leave this, it's going to eventually overtake my HQ, too, so... You don't want that to happen. But, you know, now we have Adder's power, the side slip. So by using his power, too, that means he's going to have two and basically a power, like, back-to-back. -back. And I lose my anti-air. Super sad. He joined Caps here too, so now I have to do damage to this guy, otherwise he gets the property again. Because like it worked out perfectly so that he has 8 HP on an 8 HP cap right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's super good. But yeah, now he's, now he's pretty much just rushing in and doing tons and tons of damage, right? So... Okay, and like I log on to see that I'm like down like 40k, and I'm like, hmm, it's not looking very good. It's kind of reminding me of like, you know, the mech spam match that we had <laughs> that one time. Yeah. Yeah. Where, like, you know, I'm, lo I'm losing like quite a bit, but you know, I just carry on for the content's sake. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I move on. I try to interrupt this guy, take a shot at this one. Because uh, I know that this Battlecopter would be able to come in, but I'm thinking that maybe it might scare him away, but I should probably know better at this point, too. <laughs> that was <laughs> that like back just, just... In, in, like, June. <laughs> Four months ago. Three months ago. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was a long, long time ago. Uh, so this guy's been sitting on the HQ, too, because I know if I move him off of the HQ... Basically, what's going to happen is, like, all these guys are probably going to rush in and HQ cap this. So if I move this guy off of the HQ, uh, it's, like, completely done. So I'm trying to not let that happen. Hoping to not let that happen. And faces on trying. <laughs> <laughs> trying is in quotes. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, he's pretty much guaranteeing that cap. He's pretty much like one like every front. So, like I'm holding on here with this one hero uh, <laughs> artillery unit. And who's that's just crazy like infantry wall. <laughs> yeah, they they're just they're holding on. <laughs> they are holding on, that's for sure. Uh not well. Definitely not well, but they're holding on, so you know. I haven't quite sent them to uh meet their maker yet. But I'm pretty sure I do pretty soon. Uh, cause it's, let's see. Yeah, so he's already got another side slip ready. I was really hoping that between these two, it was gonna, like, KO this guy, too. Because, like, I should have had uh, plus 10% here and then base here, so there was a possibility it would have worked, but uh, no, it didn't. So, unfortunately, that did not happen. Alright, so at this point, I build the medium tank on this side, because I'm hoping to get some <laughs> get some big hits going. So, you know, it's the medium tank show over here. Although, it's not really going to do much if I just yeet it into an artillery, right? Which is basically the only thing that they can do. That's, uh, what yeah, I, yeah. that's why I was laughing. Why didn't you uh, build your medium tank on the other front? Uh... That would force an artillery or a battle capture move on the other front. Or you take up. You know? But if you take up, that's not the worst wrong. nightmare for you. <laughs> okay. So, this is my plan from this point, okay? Like, I'm figuring. I'm hoping to just hold this area. 
And then my plan is, depending on where this Battlecopter goes, like I'm thinking this Battlecopter might just move over here and start attacking this because I have no anti-air. So if he does that, I was planning on moving both of these Battlecopters over here and then hitting this side with all three of these tanks and these two Battlecopters at the same time and just like wiping this out. And that's why the medium tank was going to come in, because I was going to try to get the one shot here, uh, take this guy out, and move in with the Battlecopter. And then hopefully be able to maybe hit this one too. But that, that was the plan, in quotes. But we'll see. But unfortunately, yeah, he just moves his Battlecopters mm. over there and takes damage, or does damage to that one. And then he uses a side slip. And then he attacks the Battlecopter. So, yeah. Uh, I was hoping that maybe those guys weren't going to get hit. But this Battlecopter, he was he was too he was too sneaky. I think right? he can he just, break he through your wall. Something. I think he will break through your wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, Oof. he does. Oh! So my that. hero artillery is down, and pretty much everything else is down too. That's the end here, I think. Oh, this match was pretty much over on like, uh, not even like day 16, right? I think that actually is the last day, because at that point I just pretty much went up and like took a few hits, and then I was just like, eh, whatever. Uh, oops, might have messed that up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, no, that was the end. So Severa just played like super good. Uh, that the in or the opener he had with those recons, uh, just because I allowed my defenses to just be breached there, it basically just uh, just ruined the entire capture phase for me, and I couldn't really come back from that. And you know, I made a couple like pretty stupid mistakes just with uh, you know seeing lots of red and uh, eating my units into the front line. <laughs> Uh, but I was just, I was super mad at that recon, and I was just out for blood at that point. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, Silvera played super good, so uh, congratulations, Silvera, if you're watching. And uh, good luck in round two. Wish you all the best, man. That's that's good. So, uh, that's funny, because right now we got Snickle in the chat saying, F Simi. <laughs> I don't know exactly what it means, but... Maybe it's he's like rest in peace, Semi. <laughs> oh, what did he say in chat? F Semi. Fuck. Oh, I think the F stand. I think the F might stand for something else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope not. <laughs> I hope. Ah, not. that's okay. <laughs> Usually he's cool. Oh, it means rip. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah, I meant. No, that def was like. Yeah, like, definitely rip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what rest I was in saying. peace, Semi. <laughs> that's 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 what I thought. Anyway, um, yeah, what's the biggest takeaway? Don't see uh, red. The... <laughs> Don't see red. Don't see red for sure. <laughs> Try not to get like you know super tilted while you're playing. And uh, let me just actually go back here, right? So, where did the recon show up? The double recon was like the day three. All right, so if your opponent does something like this and brings a recon way to the front line, <laughs> you have to really, really look and see where the recon can move. All right, so this recon would be able to interrupt this cap, this cap, and this cap down here if you went for it. So you have to make sure that you put your tank in a spot where it'd be able to defend against all those shots. Because if I did put my tank right here, it would have been able to defend all those area areas, and the recon wouldn't have been able to do those shots. Uh, so just before you make your moves, look for those little gaps in your defenses, and make sure that you don't let your opponents uh, capitalize on that. Yeah. Uh, and aside from that, just uh, don't uh, take a one-way trip to Full Sand City while you're seeing <laughs> reds, because it's not a good trip. It's very bumpy. Anyway, uh, what is going on over your channel for anybody that don't know you? Uh, I'm doing community replays right now. So if anybody has a replay, you can send it to my account on Advanced Worth by Web, Mr. Cannon. Uh, I'm pretty much accepting any replays uh, as long as they are, 
you know, a fairly even match and there's no like profanity in the, the message comments on it. So yeah, if you have replays, send them my way. I might be able to do a, a little video on them. So that'd be super fun. And I should have a new video out tomorrow if you want to check that out also. And aside from that, that's about it right now. <laughs> so hopefully I'll see you all there. That's great. So uh, in case people are searching for that, go in the description below of this stream or this re-upload. That being said, that was very fun. Thank you very much to come. As usual, we have great content because you are part of this channel as well. Uh, so I hope everyone enjoyed, even if we had like four crashes. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe to both channel, and we will see each other in future video and stream. Have a great day, everyone. Man.